All right, we've got a Midway Laguna racer here. This is yet another rare game, uh, Bronze Era this time. It is a, I, I don't know what year this is, 76, 77, 78. Um, you can look that up, but it's, it's old and uh, it's another pretty rare one. The cabinet in this one is in pretty good shape. I would say it's restorable. I mean, the artwork's great. I think it probably got wet on the bottom, but it isn't all rotted out and nasty. It's still pretty solid. I've moved it a couple times here and yeah, it's, it's solid. It's not falling apart anywhere. It's probably a little bit moldy in there. Um, you can see a little bit of mold there at the bottom, but not nothing. It's white mold and it's not super bad. Um, it is complete. The boards look pretty decent there. Um, there's not much light on that, but uh, power supply over here looks decent. Gas pedal assembly is complete. Um, this, this backdrop is in really good shape. It's one of these great uh, games that has the double mirrored effect where it's and I don't know why the the black light back here isn't lighting up. I tried a new starter. I I can't really get any signs of life out of this. I think it's on. When I hit this, I can hear just a real faint humming. But I just don't see any signs of life. So I don't know. I didn't really check the fuses. I looked at them and they look okay, but I didn't really test them. Um Monitor's not seeming to do anything. I guess I should test the fuses. Because who knows, maybe this thing would work. Are these I found these old midway boards to actually be pretty reliable. I've been pretty amazed. Um, control panel's in really good shape here. This just would clean up with some steel wool. Um, oh, it's got a nice return to the center. Look at that. Wow. Shifter. Wow, that is one heck of a nice shifter knob. I wish newer games had that. That's beefy. Um, back glass has some flaking here, but it's not bad. Uh, I mean, you still get the full effect of the artwork there. Front looks like the speaker cloth grill maybe got kicked in, so it could use some touch up there. Coin door's not too bad. It's rusty a little. It's got the coin mex, though, in the original coin box. Um, so, yeah, it's not too bad, really. It does have both back doors. I just have them off, but they're there. Do I? Um, no, I don't have the key to them. I just kind of pried them open. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, well, let me go get my meter. I'm gonna unplug this so I don't accidentally kill myself while I'm trying to check those fuses. So let me unplug and I'll go get my meter. And we'll check those fuses and see. Because we should be getting something. I mean, the lights behind the back glass, the monitor, something should be doing something. But, all right. Here we go. Oh, they're in there tight, that's for sure. That one's definitely good. I mean, do we even need to test that? No. Alright, how about this one? Ah! Yeah, that one looks good too, but it's a little corroded in there. Let's check it just to be safe. Really put this Fluke 867 to work here, testing continuity. Yep. Alright, so the fuses are good. At least those two. I don't know if there's any others. See, I, I feel a little bit of warmth. Eh, maybe not. What the heck is this? Oh, look at this. This is like a little instruction thing showing this has that really weird type of connector, that amp connector, I think they call it. Yeah. 
showing how to remove the pins and how to work on it. That's original from the factory. Okay, uh, let's just try plugging it in again. Let's see if we get anything, but I, I don't, you know what? It could be this power switch up here. I've had a lot of these power switches go bad over the years. But let's plug it in. Maybe it'll just work now. See, now I heard something click there when I did that. Is there a plug somewhere I could check voltage? Here we go. It's just going. Yeah. Hey, Cisco. I think this goes to fluorescent. Let me unplug this and we'll check the voltage on that plug. So I got a flashlight in my mouth. Alright, here we go. We're going to stick our leads in here. Ah! I think I'll be able to do this while holding the camera. Okay. Uh huh. Yep, the meter says 121 volts. Okay. So we do have voltage. But our uh, bulb is not lighting up, so it could be bad ballast or a bad bulb. I tried an FSU starter, which is supposed to be universal. Uh, let's try turning up the contrast and bright on the monitor and see if we're getting anything out of that. Huh, I don't know. Let's say brightness. Yeah. All right. Brightness up. Yeah. We're not getting anything. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to have to sell this one as a project. But it should be a fun one. Good luck.